Hey guys, how you doing? So are there going to be any major changes in development in 2024? No, short answer is no. In fact, development hasn't changed much in several years. The only thing that's really changed recently is the injection of AI with the boom of ChatGPT and other uh, learning language models. Other than that, uh, it's pretty much the same. I say things have settled down, or I, I believe things settled down in around 2014, 2015, something like that. Only thing that's changed since then is the server models, a lot more VPS, virtual private servers, and uh, cloud-based uh, server models as opposed, to, as opposed to traditional. And DevOps, perhaps. Yeah, DevOps, DevOps has become much more sophisticated, although there was a, a ramp up in the sophistication of DevOps models and it's plateaued, it's come back down. Do you have to learn DevOps? It's a need to nerd technology because not everybody is doing DevOps, although a lot of companies are. It's something worth learning for sure, but it's not something I would jump into right away. If you're a total beginner, you learn your basics first, the fundamentals of coding. So if you're doing the web stack, HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, so on, uh, start building stuff, you know, learn a bit, you know, any decent course will teach you about the basics of servers, of serving and hosting websites and uh, how that whole thing works, the request response cycle. And then, um, yeah, you don't have to become a server uh, expert. That was something that people were trying to uh, push through a lot. You don't have to become a server expert to be a web developer, especially a web designer, but you have to, you know, know basically what the options are. Yeah, so nothing's going to change in a huge way in 2024, except you have to start embracing the AI revolution, start looking at what's out there, what's being used. Again, you're not going to drop everything and just start doing that, but it is definitely something that uh, it's the new thing for development and uh so it's, it's going to be there's going to be integrations but it's already it's already happening so i did a a couple of sponsored videos for uh wix studios so this is a platform that they have and they've integrated ai right in the platform so it's pretty well done so they got ai for code completion they got ai for headline creation text body text creation ai for image creation it's all integrated within their freelance uh, platform for web development so you're going to see that kind of thing so if you're into this so let's say you've learned the basics you know responsive web design you understand the basics of uh, web app creation the very basics I'm not saying you're an expert what should you do with regards to AI I would just learn the base I would just say poke around a little bit rather check out what's out there how GPT can be used to help your coding and your development Look at AI code completion tools like Copilot, and there's several out there now. There's, they're popping up all over the place. And um, just so that you're aware of what's out there. Like, for example, look at what might be the typical application for AI in a typical web app or website and learn how you might integrate with them. That'd be something interesting for you. It's early days. This stuff is still shaking out. I'm going to cover this more and more and more as I learn more about it. But uh, yeah, you know, it doesn't replace what we've been doing for so many years now. So I wouldn't be too concerned about it. If you're totally new to this, don't worry about AI right now. Um, get into the basics, learn the basics of code, understand uh, the whole coding world. You have to develop what I call the nerd eyes. This is your ability to read code and it doesn't look like a bunch of symbols, right? It looks like something legible. You can read it and understand it. And uh, once you got th that understood, once you got that under your belt, then you can move on to other things, you know? You can move on to uh, AI. You can look into frameworks, uh, whether it be uh, front-end frameworks like a React maybe or a Vue if you decide to go there uh, or something light, light, light lighter like a bootstrap etc something i've been saying for years now you don't want to get caught up in tutorial hell because there's so much out there it's overwhelming so you have to be you have to be really strict about your time and you got to say you know 
I got to learn these basics. I got to learn, you know, how to read and write, but I don't have to read every single book that's ever been written. And I don't have to try to remember every word in the English language, you know? <laughs> it's, you, you'll, you'll be forever a student and you'll never build things. The way development works is you learn your fundamentals and then you jump into the game. You start building things. And as you build things, you will see, okay, I'm building a, a web app. Uh, that we need to integrate with, um, I don't know, a Stripe back end. Stripe is a payment processing uh, service. Then you learn Stripe then. You don't go out there and I got to learn Stripe because there's going to be a lot of e-commerce. So I'm going to go learn Stripe, not Stripe now. Ah. Or, oh, I got to go learn React now. Ah. You learn React because you either want a React job or because you, for the project you're working on, you see a need for React. But before you do all that, Work on your fundamentals. Trust me, once you got that down, you have a much more, you have the nerd eyes. You have that ability to discern the landscape and you're going to be able to make better decisions about what technologies you're going to learn. In my mentoring group, I have people who are all over the place. Some people are doing this WordPress development. Some people are doing Drupal PHP development of all things, working for a huge corporation. Uh, people are doing Java SaaS development. People are doing Node.js. People are freelancing with all kinds of different technologies. It's all viable. It's all viable. All right. I'm Uncle Steph. Thanks for watching the video.